Hi, this is Joel Berman from the Mortgage News Network at NAM National in Las Vegas. I'm with Ray Menino, and he's the Senior VP, National Sales Director, Wholesale, for Carrington Wholesale. And I'd like to just kind of thank you for coming to NAM and being a consistent sponsor. What do you see as the future of the economy and uh, where this residential lending market is going into 2016? Well, I think if you judge by the attendance levels that we have here and the other shows, it is kind of symbolic of how the economy is improving right now. Uh, the US, U.S. housing market has been improving significantly. And, um, you know, lenders such as myself are starting to see increased business quarter after quarter. So good things are happening right now. One of the things that Carrington is known for is that you have a mission to serve the underserved. Uh, towards that, what do you provide the mortgage brokers that are doing business with you in terms of products that they are able to deliver to the communities? Well, we were one of the first to pioneer going down to 550 FICO score. Um, we did that about a year ago. We're happy to see that others are starting to join our lead because, again, it's helping the U.S. housing economy uh, become more robust and it's helping a lot of consumers out there. So, you know, the moves that we made about a year ago to go down to that FICO band, do manufactured homes, do manual underwrites is really something that's help, helping the greater good. And um, again, it's it's great to see other others following our lead. One of the things I noticed when I walked past your booth is while the numbers have increased tremendously, they seem to be individuals that are not just here to pick up the tchotchkes that are on the tables, but they're looking to be engaged in meaningful conversations with your team. And what I am seeing is a more professional loan originator. Do you feel that is what is the case? Absolutely, and it's something that I've said actually a couple of years ago as well, is that the loan officers that we have today are the ones that survive the crisis. They're serious about the business. They're serious about making a, a positive impact uh, when it comes to our industry. And uh, they are, they're asking deeper questions, ones that are really reflective of the community that they serve. So it's great to see them engaging us in that manner. We know right now that compliance is one of the biggest words that are guiding the future of this industry. What do you uh, at Carrington provide as resources to your wholesale relationships to help them navigate those difficult times? Well, there's actually a couple of things that we do. Uh, first of all, our QC, our QC process is needed, but we have a very robust system to ensure that not only we're protected, but our brokers are protected as well. We also have a program called My Loan Detail that the borrower has to go into and acknowledge that they understand all the details of their loan. And it's, it really helps in um, creating a more educated borrower out there, which in turn turns, turns them into a more affluent, or excuse me, a, a more sophisticated borrower as they go forward and refinance later. Is there any particular training programs that uh, you're currently engaged with or that your AEs are trained on and then pass on to your mortgage brokers that you could uh, talk about? Absolutely, so we not only have a series of webinars, but we also have a program which is sort of a train the trainer where they can specifically go down and uh, go down the path of training them on how brokers can train their loan officers and processors as well. So yes, we do have that. In closing, what do you feel to the mortgage broker that's really concerned with TRID? Is it something that you think they should just stay put, get used to it, comply, and that the future is bright? Yes. I think that once everybody embraces it and copes with the fact that they have to adjust the TRID, it'll be smoother. I kind of relate this to uh, back in the day when we, when we uh, made the change or the industry made the change of you can only do either lender paid or borrower paid. You can't do both. And during that time period, we saw the same hysteria, the same confusion. But once it was accepted, things started to smoothen out and they, and they uh, again, they coped with that type of change. We're going through the same thing today. But uh, my advice to the brokers is please accept it. Please uh, you know, try to get as uh, educated as you can with it. And reach out to folks like us if you need more education on it. There you have it from Joel Berman from Mortgage News Network. I thank Ray Menino, Senior VP, National Sales Director Wholesale at Carrington Wholesale for his comments and 
the fact that he feels the future is bright. So for those mortgage originators out there that are kind of feeling it from TRID right now, hang in there, better days are coming. This is Mortgage News Network.